So we want to create a map using Google Maps in this map component on our website. Now to use this Google service, we need to enable it in our Google Developer Console and register an API key for it. So to do that, I want you to head over to console.developers.google.com and I'll leave this link attached to this lecture. Now make sure you're signed in at this point. You should already have an account by now if you signed up to Firebase earlier. And make sure you have the correct project selected up here. You can see I have Udemy Geo Ninjas, which is correct. If you don't see your correct project that you created on Firebase, click on this, then go to all and search for your project right here. Select it and then press open. Okay, so then now that we have that selected, we need to enable an API. Hey, Sean here from the future again. So I've had to recently update this video because Google has updated the way that their Maps API usage structure is working. Now, don't worry, this is not going to affect any of the actual code that we write in this project. But it does mean that you may have to do one additional thing to get the Map API set up in your project. So the update that Google has pushed essentially means that you now need to add a billing account in order to fully use the map API, but do not panic. That does not mean that they're going to start charging you to use it. They're primarily using this information for identity purposes, probably so people can't rinse their free services by creating 15 different accounts for themselves. And once we've set up the billing account, Google will actually give us $200 of credit to use each month on API services like Google Maps. Now this will be more than enough for 99.9% .9 of people just using Google Maps, unless you have some kind of really popular website with a lot of requests per day. So we can still essentially use these services for free when we're practicing or on lower traffic websites. And what's more, we can also set a spend limit so that if we ever reach the free $200 per month allowance that Google gives to us, we can stop the service automatically so nothing is ever taken out of our bank account. So then, to get an API key now, we'll need to link up a billing method to our account. Now to do that, you wanna go up here to the top left and click on billing. And when you're on this page, you can set up a new payment method down here by clicking this thing. And it's just gonna ask for your payment information. And you can see these credits right here, this is what I have remaining. And this is from Google right? So they're giving me this free allowance up until the 18th of August so far. So go to payment method, add a new payment method for you. And then if you want to set any kind of budget so that you never actually go over your free allowance, just go to budgets and alerts and you can set that up there as well. Really simple to do. And then once you have a billing method set up, you can choose which projects that you want associated with this billing account. So you can see here, I've added the Udemy Geo Ninjas project right here. Okay, so it will ask you when you set up a billing account, which projects that you want to link with this billing account. And by the way, I do just want to point out that we can still use Google Maps JavaScript API without actually using a key at all. So we don't need to do any of this billing method stuff. If we read the updated terms here, it says that we can use the API without a key, but we'll receive back a low resolution map, which will be watermarked. So if you're just wanting to use the map for learning purposes, then this is an option too. And I'll show you how to do that later near the end of the video. So anyway, once you've linked a billing account, go back to APIs and services. And what we want to do now is enable the JavaScript map API. So let's go to enable APIs and services and choose the Google Maps JavaScript API. And you should see a little enable button right here. Press enable to enable that in your project. Okay, so that's enabled now and we can use it. However, we want to get those credentials, an API key. So click on credentials and then go to credentials in the API manager and press create credentials. We want an API key. So this thing right here, this is what is going to identify our project when we're running it on the front end to Google when we're making requests to the Google Map API. So we're gonna need this in a second. So just keep that there for now. The next thing we need to do is actually find where we're meant to make this request. So I want you to go now to cloud.google.com forward slash maps hyphen platform and just scroll right down here to the bottom. It's gonna give us a little setup guide right here. And you can see this thing at the bottom, this script tag, this is what we need to place inside our index file. So copy that first of all, 
and come over here. I'm in the index.html file down here. And underneath this thing right here, this style sheet, I'm just going to paste this in. So we don't need these two properties right here, async or defer. We'll take those out and scoot this up here. Now, where it says here, your API key, that's where we're going to place that API key we just got. Now, this thing over here, we don't need where it says and callback equals init map. We're not going to use a callback method right here. We're going to get rid of that. We don't need it. What I will do now, though, is grab that API key that we just created over here. So press that to copy it and then paste that in here instead of your API key, like so. And that's it. We're ready to go now. We've got the Google Maps API loaded in and we've inserted our key right here so that Google can identify us when we make requests and we're ready to use it in the following videos. Now, I did mention that we can make keyless requests. We don't need to do any of that and we receive back a low resolution watermarked map. So we can do that by taking out all of this right here. So where it says question mark key equals and all of the stuff after, you can delete that. And if we do that, then it's still going to work. And for now, it's going to work just as normal. But I think it's from the 18th of June 2018. Then you're going to get back a low resolution watermarked map. So this is perfect for when you're just practicing with the tool. But if you're ever going into production, then you probably do want um, an API key. So I'm just going to paste that back in like so. And now we're ready to start using Google Maps in our project.